Aloha, everyone. What do you feel in your hearts when you hear the word Lemuria? Does something awaken within you? Do you feel a call to remember? What you, we are standing on now are the mountaintops of ancient Lemuria. Much of what I share with you today comes from the wisdom of our master guide, Kirael, through his medium, Kahu Fred Sterling, and their beautiful book, Kirill Lemurian Legacy for the Great Shift. In that, they share of an ancient land where the people lived in oneness with one another and the Creator's light. They were in close harmony with their environment. They lived in a six-sensory world where their five senses were so heightened and interactive with all around them that they evolved to their sixth sense. They were fully balanced on the physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual bodies. And they evolved collectively through the third, the fourth, the fifth, and some to the sixth dimensional lights. They were in harmony with the whales and the dolphins who they interacted with on shores such as these. The goddess light was a very strong presence in their lives. They were fully interacted with the divine feminine or the expression of our creator's love incarnate. This is what may be what you are feeling when you come here or when you are called here. You may be feeling the call to re return to Lemuria, much like our women in Wahine wisdom. We are goddess lights bringing back the call of Lemuria. The wisdom of the goddess light comes forth at times of great shifts in consciousness, such as in Lemuria, every time that there was a shift into the next level of love of the creator's light, the goddess light would come forth, incarnate, and speak to the people, to their hearts, calling them to awaken collectively, to evolve, and to ascend to the next level of light. And so here we are, Wahine Wisdom, once again, bringing forth the goddess light to bring forth the call to ascend and to awaken again to the feeling and the love of Lemuria. According to our master guide, Kirayao, in Kira Lemurian Legacy for the Great Shift, there came a time when the Lemurians had evolved so far beyond what Mother Earth was capable of sustaining that they chose to evolve back into the Creator's light, to go to other worlds, or to reduce their DNA and to migrate out around the planet. Lemuria would go under the waters. The waters would rise, all except for the mountaintops of ancient Lemuria, where we stand today, the site of the healing temples of ancient Lemuria. These were kept above the waters. This is the feeling of Lemuria that we have here now. This Aloha spirit permeates this land. The goddess light comes forth at times of great shifts in consciousness like now. And at the ending times of Lemuria, the goddess lights were called to gather in groups to begin to speak into the hearts of the Lemurians, the call of the Creator. And each Lemurian heard the call of the Creator in their hearts. Each one heard the same message at the same time. And they reached out and touched each other's light. Every Lemurian around the continent at the same time. They looked into the sky and they saw streaming lights and beautiful vibrations of love streaming toward them so that they might know it was time for Lemuria to go under the waters until it would rise again. And this is where we are today, my friends, the time of the return of Lemuria. The information of Lemuria was given to the whales and into the goddess light. The goddess Pele and the ancient ones of Lemuria gave the ancient records into the goddess light and the whales. 
and the chants of the olden days were passed down to us today so we know the histories of Lemuria. Mahalo.